uh, yes, it's a spring special. Spring is always special for us, isn't it? Why is that so? We all know that without rain, everything is just blossoming. It's beautiful smell, um, sun is shining, and everything is just so beautiful, isn't it? The best creature in the world called human being, us. It's in a photo you can see like how we grow up. But this is called Darwin. Darwin says so, but it's not us. We are coming from human to human. Though our size is going a bit smaller and smaller. Yeah. Human being is a perfect combination of mind, body, and spirit. As we all know, we are a little bit different than other uh, animals. To live a life happy, healthy, and wealthy, what we need? Mind, body, and spirit. Say, for example, if you have a body, no mind, no spirit, do you think you are alive? No. And the same way, if you have your good mind, but your body is not with you, doesn't make any sense, right? So we need all three together. Keep yourself healthy with this all thing. You definitely need air and food. So air, naturally available. Water, naturally available. And food needs to prepare according to your need. And that's where we need these three elements, just like how it's mind, body, and spirit. Ayurveda believes in a balanced diet according to your constitution. Why I'm talking about uh, uh, food and diet and all other things uh, straight away? Just because our body is made out of. And what's in our body, we knew very well in a physical form is like food. So if you eat food as a medicine, no need to take medicine as a food. So as we all know that the spring is the season when everything is beautiful and these and that, but a human being is a sick. Most of the time, <laughs> continuous cough, cold and any other things are pretty common in spring season. So they are not able to enjoy the beautiful season. And that's where we are working on how our body made out of. One is food, but before food, or I can say after food, these are the things, five elements. From five elements, our body made out of, with the air, ear, skin, eye, tongue, nose, and all other senses are coming from that side due to these five elements. And the same five elements make food. That's why I called before how our body, air, food, and water. So these are the things which we can say taste and property. The, the taste comes from that five elements. So earth and water comes together, make a sweet taste. And whenever we are in anxiety or when we are in a stress, we always feel something sweet needs to be there. That makes you a bit settled because it has earth. Earth means earthy, like it's settled down. Sour, when you need some kind of fire, or I would say when you need to do something, um, some ignition to do something, you need sour taste. A salty, it will help, it will settle down because without salt, you, you feel something is missing. I think I can say everything is missing in your food if there is no salt because air 
is not there, but water and fire, both elements are there. Pungent, air and fire. So just like a chili, like sharp, very sharp. The, all those property, you can feel it. The bitter taste has air and space. Unfortunately, very rare we are having this type of taste. That's where we don't like it. And continuously, if you are eating bitter taste, it makes a space in your body. Space means your body is decreasing because it has air and space. Either it's decreasing in a form of um, there is no water inside because the bitter taste is just like soaking everything. And the other hand, I can say air is like a balloon. So like how we are putting uh, air into balloon like that, body become bigger and bigger. It's possible. After having bitter stuff a lot, people say that, oh, you know what? Whatever I eat doesn't work on me. I am putting on weight extra. Why is that possible? Because they don't have this theory in their mind. Too much bitter is not good at all. Astringent. Air and earth. Astringent taste has a little bit earthy. So turmeric, haritaki, or harde, or trifla, excellent example of astringent taste. Trifla has a little bit of sour taste as well, just because of the amla. But most like a haritaki and bipitaka, these two fruits are there in the trifla, and it, it has the taste of astringent. So that's where these all things are coming together and we are making our food. And accordingly, our body is made out of. So think about it. When you're first time in your mother's womb, what happened? A little ball of the muscle in a mother womb and then it become it has a eyes and nose and then hands and everything. But how it's developed? It's just because of your mom is eating something and from your mother's blood having some kind of nourishment, right? So accordingly, those five elements comes like this way and create your own humor, like your physical body and mental body. So what the body is having a space and wind or air. Pitta body has a fire and water together, but more fire. Kapha is a water and earth together. And that is where this all happen. Now, why I am talking about this all things is each and every season also has this all criteria. Just like we just passed the winter. Winter and before that, it has an autumn. So autumn has a more air element. Winter has air and a little bit of kapha together. And now we are in kapha season. So whatever you have in your body, it's increased. Right? And that is why I'm talking about this system. Like how we made out of the same way the universe is made out of. And that's where we are so interconnected. Okay. Now, how we can work on it? What the humors are effect affected like this way? So as we saw before, like uh, whatever the air element is higher in vata, it increases vata. Like like increases like. That, I, that rule are there. So vata, vata, Prakriti or what element is going to increase because of the bitter, pungent, and astringent, as I gave an example before. But if you are having a, some sweet and sour and salty things, vata will be decreased or it's come into balance. So if a person is having too much bitter and putting on weight, they should try a little bit of sweet stuff, little bit of sour stuff, and try it. 
pitta and that's where i think most of the people are saying honey and lemon early morning with the hot water helps a lot think in a mind pitta fire sour salty and pungent we all know that it's very fiery stuff it increases fire when we are going in the summer these things will increase all your pitta level burning and bleeding and all other things like acidity and everything is increased if you are having these things it's pretty common right common sense as well so how you can decrease what we love in the summer sweet little bit bitter like a mango juice with the karela sabji and astringent it's a beautiful combination and then kapha which we are going into enter what things will increase your body with sweet sour and salty if you are eating sweet sour and salty stuff during this season your kapha will be increased how you can balance bitter pungent and astringent so what are the things pungent and astringent you can make a list more is less okay keep in your mind so increase kapha by having grains fruits like a banana and dairy products so i would like to ask you one thing is whenever someone is coughing are you giving milk with turmeric or water with turmeric comment on a box comment here what do you give while they are coughing like especially kids are coughing are you giving uh, turmeric that's for sure but with water or with milk yeah yes uh thank you for your answer i would say give turmeric as it is with milk as you said this season no no milk no no dairy no no so always keep in your mind the, the this example what makes your body more fluid with so kapha is the season of kapha is spring your body is flooded with kapha how it's possible we'll learn again um in the future very soon so this is the thing turmeric by itself help you to reduce the kapha how we can have it we'll see it later on okay so what we can do and what we can't do let's understand these all things as we just mentioned that kapha is increasing eating too much sweet meat fats cheese milk fried food excessive use of salt will you know increase your kapha and these all things but not to eat right exposure to cold in the morning we all know that today even it's a 4 degree right so 4 degree 6 degree in uh, and you are going out and then coming inside with the heating what happened your body is coping up with different different temperature and that's also having uh is a cause of cough cold sinus and all other itis type of rheumatoid arthritis a sinusitis any kind of pain or any kind of inflammation so think about it before you are jumping in a car very cold car and put your heater on is absolutely big no no right excessive intake of water in this season so what you can do you can have a bottle with warm water and drink sip by sip whenever it's needed not saying that limiting your con limited your water consumption but i would say make it warm 
or you can add a little bit of turmeric inside. I said a little bit, not much. Taking nap after meal. Generally, not here, but in India, we do have a habit of having a nap um, after meal. But if you are having the same thing here as well, better to limit the time of around 15 to 20 minutes, not more than that. Doing nothing. Generally, in this season, when kapha is increasing, people tend to do a little bit extra efforts more. As we, as we just know that exposure to cold or outside is not really safe. So living at home or in office is also not too good. So sedatives or tranquilizer or those kind of things, especially what happened is we are not supposed to go out just because there is lots of pollen and dust allergy and this kind of things and my time catching the infection. This type of thing lots of people have. So they are not going out and then staying home. After staying home, due to those allergies and all other things, having pills of cold and flu, and that is a perfect combination of sedatives or tranquilizer. So if you sleep a lot, that will increase, which is against of your problem. So what you can do is not to do much efforts outside as well as inside, but rather than doing a little bit of exercise, which like I can say some stretching and do the things which you love most. This is the creative season. So keep engage yourself with doing something which you love. Doubts, greeds, possessiveness and lack of compaction is not good at all. Okay. Spring is the best season to purify your mind and body. That's why I said first thing is, what's your hobby? Comment below. Comment here. What, what's your hobby? And you can start from now onwards to work on it. What's your hobby? You can comment here so that you can get some better idea. Your mind is out is very creative or you can find something which you like most and you haven't learned before and that's why we are doing 108 sun salutation challenge because if outside is not so good yeah absolutely music and dance and singing and listening music or do exercise or any other things which you really love most and you haven't done before you can start learning something because the spring and autumn are the season when you start learning. Even uh, I was uh, reading a book of on pranayama one day and it says that if you haven't done any type of pranayama or if you want to start your journey into yoga field or yoga path, you have to start your pranayama journey from spring onwards because your body your prana srotasa the channels of prana is opening up you can open up easily right so you can do those things quite easily now why you need to purify your body what happened what different happened in your body that you need really purification in this season any idea comment here so i can get some idea that you are you are understanding yeah any idea Yep, okay, no problem. I can tell you here. What do you think? How many ways you can have water in your life? How many ways you can have water in your life? Yep. A 
I, I mean to say how many form you can have water in your system or uh, we can have it. Yes, liquid as a water, solid as ice and gas as a vapor. So water, ice and vapor, these three forms we have for water. Now, let's understand how it's happened and why I'm asking this thing is. Spring is the season when sun comes out. After winter, and you, you all know that uh, animals are going into hibernation, right? Just like that, we are also feeling the same. Not good enough or anxiety or depression or those all kind of uh, limiting like a negative feelings and all, all our things are there. And then when sun comes out, we feel good. We would like to come out and everything. So opens up, channels are opens up. During the winter, what we generally eat? Sweet, some kind of, and we are not really working very well or feels like a slowing down. And we do. So during that time, your body is having lots of kapha produce lots of kapha. But as the season is really cold, just like we, how we are putting uh, water in a, in a tray and putting into freezer, it turns into ice. Just like that, our body is freezing those things. And when sun comes out during the spring, it's just melting. So when it's melting, what happened? Water, like a flood everywhere. And we don't know how to get rid of. So how that water comes out is either you don't feel that much um, like a um, urine and poo and your nose is runny, everything. Especially this area is mostly outside. It's it, We are not covering up. So when the sun is come straight away, these all areas, are having a pores and that all kapha is coming out and that this side is inflamed a little bit. So when some air coming from your nose, the sinus is also hurting, a little bit of pain. And so do you think we should not eat those things which hurts later on in winter? Or we should continue and then we can do some kind of purification in spring. What's your suggestion? What's your thinking? What do you think? We should not eat or we should not do those things which doing in the winter or we should continue with the spring. And we uh, we do some detoxification during spring. Yep. What is your opinion? We should eat, but in minimum amount. Yeah. I would say conscious eating is the best. Yes. We should do some detoxification in spring as well. And what else we can think about? Yeah. Type in the chat. Yeah. Good. So conscious eating is the key. Or I would say conscious living is the key. So in winter, better not to do just lying down and feeling low and those negative thoughts and all of the things are also a part of the journey. So conscious eating as well as conscious living. So, so after winter, it starts melting and it comes to your stomach. Your stomach is become heavier. 
and it needs to digest. So during this season, better not to eat much. Though we feel like I would like to eat more, always warm thing is the best. And warm, what warm is? Little lukewarm, which you can bear the heat. Okay. And that's where Ayurveda gives a detox plan. There are plenty of detoxification around the world. You can choose any of them. Their scientific way of detoxification is not to give anything for certain time. Not putting anything for certain time. And what would be? The professional has some training and understanding how long it could be. And that's where Whenever you are buying any detox kit from the outside or market or pharmacy, think about it. Are you a professional before trying that? If you are not professionally trained into that area, please don't go for it. Though maybe that works for other person, but if you are a conscious person, no, I would say, please don't go for it. By having herbal ghee, the Ayurveda detox is catered in a, such a wonderful way. We are giving a ghee, herbal ghee, which we just said that dairy is not good, but herbal, herbal ghee is, you know, give excitement to your toxins in your body that ready to come out. And that is why it is most scientific way to detox yourself. Okay, tell me if you have a green tree, just a, just a trunk of the green tree, and one side you have a dry trunk of tree. What do you think? Which one easily broken? How you can easily broke the dry one or green one? Oops. Yeah, dry one. And that is why any detox, if you go around the world, see in the pharmacy shelves, they are giving the detox kit that purify your body. But never ever anyone has this oily substance. Or maybe sometimes some people are saying like um, olive oil and lemon come together, mix together and drink it in a couple of days or three days or seven days. These all are, as I said, home remedies. Please try under the guidance of professionals that know they know very well how many days and how you can do that. So the ghee is applying inner body and that makes yourself inner very smooth, gentle and excite all the toxins ready to come out. Okay. We have five, five therapies for that. Along that, in during this season, we can do only two. And after that, we are doing anti-aging treatment as well.